Hey, I just wanted to create a quick video talking about uh, this debacle of a Florida game that we just saw in Gainesville, um, where well, I guess we'll start at the beginning. Uh, offense looked great. Defense, you you, you start out by uh, allowing them to drive down the field, but you get kind of given one uh, with the uh, kicker missing the field goal. Uh, and then the offense comes out and looks sharp. Looks like the offense we saw a lot last year. Uh, put six on the board really quick. And, and then that's kind of where the good things end, at least for the first half. Uh, the defense allows four straight touchdowns. Uh, you know, the offense goes three and out, and then uh, maybe another three and out. Uh, but then Joe Milton throws his first interception as a, as a ball. And although it wasn't good, like it, let's let's not make any excuses for it. It wasn't a good interception, but he was, you know, getting smacked in the face as he was throwing by a 400-pound lineman, uh, and that's kind of on the offensive line as well as Joe Milton. You know, uh, you kind of got to be cognizant of what's going on, and if you see that you're about to get hit, you can't let go of that ball. And uh, I don't want to play it's all the blame on him, but it, it, it's it's on Joe Milton. He's the one who let go of it. Um, uh, you go, but we go into half, uh, and nothing's looking good. But we're hoping for some for some adjustments to be made, uh, and hopefully come out and look better in the second half. And, and we did. Offensively, we started getting rolling. Uh, Defensively, you know, their their offensive game plan kind of changed and, and defense was able to get them off the field when necessary. Uh, the problems were that we were we were getting the ball to the to the red zone and then we'd shoot ourselves in the foot. Uh, ten penalties for God knows how many yards, doesn't matter. Um, it's, it was not good. Uh, the officiating wasn't great in this game, especially that second half, but I'm not going to blame the officials. You can't leave the game in the hands of the officials because every time you're going to get disappointed uh there were there were missed calls and i'm sure they were on both sides but i'm just speaking from uh tennessee's perspective uh, that pass interference call in the end zone on uh ramel keaton should have been called uh there was definitely a holding call that was missed on uh on Ty tyler barron uh, and that kicking the ball uh, and resetting and then allowing florida to sub for no apparent reason. Uh, there was just definitely some sloppy officiating towards the back end of this game. Uh, and I'm not saying it affected the outcome. There's a good chance it didn't. But uh, there's just def there's definitely reason to be upset as a Tennessee fan whenever you're watching this game. I mean, I I remember jumping out of my seat whenever I seen that, that pass interference no call. Um, and I was livid. Uh, big thing for me that just infuriated me watching it was Kamal Haddon uh, two or three times tried to just knock guys down and uh, he's just not big enough for that especially when you're talking about Tret, uh, uh, Etienne uh, that that first Florida touchdown where, where Kamal Haddon just tries to bump shoulders with him and hope that he falls over like that you can't do that I'm sure that every coach he's ever had has told him to wrap up when he tackles and he just didn't do it. And last week against Austin P, you've seen him two, three times get past interference calls because he wouldn't turn around. He was just attacking wide receivers. Uh, and you just can't do that. Uh, the, those are the simple things that are going to get you beat. They're going to call you for it just about every time uh, on the pass interference stuff. And, and whenever it comes to tackling, you're not big enough to do that. You know, this isn't... This isn't high school where you're the best guy on the field anymore. Uh, so I just I don't understand what made him think he could get away with that. Um, and I'm sure the coaching staff will will drill it in his head over the over the course of the week. But uh, he's been very frustrating to watch over the last couple of weeks. And I'll be honest, I'm okay if he doesn't take the field again uh, as a Tennessee Vol. And that's I hate to say that, but. It, that was costly. Some of what he was doing is costly, and we can't have that. Um, other than that, you know, the swamp woes continue. I mean, for for the tenth time in a row, we lose in the swamp, and you hate it to see it as a Tennessee ball. But you got to look at it this way: 
everything you wanted is still in front of you. Now, you want to in the East, you or you want to win the East, it's still possible. Uh, because I don't foresee Florida going undefeated in the SEC. Um, I don't see them even going with just one loss. I mean, they'll, they'll get handed a loss, uh, likely from Georgia. Um, and I'm sure they'll lose another one somewhere. Uh, because I, I'm still not a believer that Florida's a very good team. And, and clearly, Tennessee, we have our own set of issues that we need to work out. Uh, but if you're looking at it from Tennessee's perspective, everything you want is still in front of you. If you go and uh, win every game, yes, you can win the East. Do I think that's going to happen? Uh, no. Simply put, there's nothing that this team has shown me so far that would lead me to believe we're going to run the table. But uh, if you're looking at it from a player's perspective, perspective you you got got to preach, hey, if we win every single game, from here on out, we can still win the East. I mean, you can still lose to UTSA and UConn, I guess, but uh, to win the East, you, you've got to win every game from here on out. Uh, you had one mulligan, and that mulligan was supposed to be Alabama. That was because you can lose that one, and uh, that's kind of okay. You know, uh, you got to think, if you're going to lose one SEC game, you'd rather it be against an SEC West opponent rather than an SEC East opponent. Um, but unfortunately it's, it's not looking good. Um, because if you lose to Alabama now, you got two SEC losses. And even if you beat Georgia, it kind of means nothing. Cause I don't think Georgia will have another SEC loss. Now, if they keep sleepwalking through the schedule, like it appeared they did in the first half against South Carolina, uh, it's very possible, but, uh, I don't foresee that being, it being an issue. Uh, Next up, UTSA. Um, go back, you know, you come back home and and uh, hopefully re hopefully fix some of the issues that you've had. Uh, the road has not been good to this team. Uh, we saw it against Georgia last year, South Carolina. Uh, I know Vandy was a home game or a road game, but it's basically a home game. Um, still in Nashville, uh, and then you, but then you go to the swamp and you get beat. Uh, but we got the next few at home. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get tested on the road again until we get to Tuscaloosa. And if and if Bama doesn't get something squared away at quarterback, we that's still a very winnable game. Uh, but we've got to get we've got to get our issues under wraps. Uh, we cannot have. Uh, I, I said it before the game. And we we cannot be having this many penalties. It's killing us. Uh, as well as execution on on the part of the wide receivers, the the, the quarterback. Um, I don't blame that loss entirely on Joe Milton. Uh, it, it felt like a team effort on that. As far as a loss, I mean the the uh, yes the the offense didn't help the defense out, but the defense didn't help the offense out either. So, what do we take away from this game? I don't I don't really know. Uh, there's definitely a lot of issues that need to be fixed. Uh, whether it's a discipline issue, a coaching issue, there's some play calling, questionable, questionable play calling, um, especially in that first half. I mean, we're, we're throwing wide receiver screens like it's going out of style. Uh, and defensively, uh, Tim Banks, I wasn't sold on him last year, and he's not doing a whole lot to convince me this year. Uh, maybe this, maybe after this season, if, if we don't start seeing some serious improvement on the defense, it might be time... Uh, to move on from Tim Banks. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to beat a dead horse too much. On to UTSA. Uh, it should be a very winnable game at home. Then we got South Carolina at home, A&M at home, uh, and then we're going to Tuscaloosa. Uh, so a stretch of very winnable games, uh, especially if we can start jiving the way that we believe this team can. Um, but anyway, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you got any constructive criticism, things I could do to make this video better other than doing it in my car, it's kind of, it's just kind of a spur of the moment thing. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, thank you. Have a great rest of your day.